Hello and once again welcome to Graphic PSG Tutorials and today we are going to learn making watercolor flower logo design. So let's get started. So open the Photoshop and go to file and create a new document with your desired setting. Here I am using dimension of 1920 by 1080 pixel which you can also use for the best result. Then go to file and place or embed flower outline image you have. I found it from the google.com so if you are practicing you can get one from there. Increase the size so you can clearly see what's happening. Select the magic wand tool and by holding the shift keep selecting the rose petal white areas only. Make sure all the petals you are selecting and not the leaves. Then select the brush and choose watercolor brush which I found from the online link in the description. Now in order to brush in petals, you need to create a new layer. Then select the red color on fill color and click to add the colors on the petal section. Now repeat the steps and this time we will target the leaf of the rose only. Just select the magic wand tool and holding the shift key. Keep selecting all the leaves and then you can create additional layer to add some watercolor effect using the brush tool. Make sure this time fill color set to green or any other you prefer. Now simply we will going to delete the stroke or line out of the flower and there we go we have a watercolor flower design. You can adjust the layer and position your flower right or according to your logo text choice. Now just add some text here I am adding the Rosaline. And the font I'm using is also included in the description below. You can download for free. Again, same steps. Select the magic wand tool and select whole text this time. And make a new layer and select the brush to add your watercolor style. Remember that you must choose different color for this time for the text. I always prefer dark gray for these type of logo text. Now simply delete the font layers. You can adjust the font with your logo style. Now select the three layers we created and press Ctrl Alt E and we'll combine all the images into one. However, it is not recommended if you want to change the font later. Delete those three layers and you are done. You can rename the layer if you like into something you prefer. Now here's the best part. To give it a realistic hand-drawn look made from the watercolor brush, all you need to do is to go to filter, distills and select the ripple effect and you can add your desired setting, something similar or according to your wish. Now let's add some background which I downloaded from the Deviant Art and again link in the description. Place the background at your desired position and then send the background to the back. Now select the logo layer and choose the linear bar from the layer style option. That is it, you have successfully made the watercolor logo design. By the way, same trick is used while creating different kind of floral artwork. It's simply a trick. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching.